Hello, in this video, I am going to run you through sizing. So sizing allows you to set a width and height with a bit more precision of an item relative to its parent container. So if you want something always, let's say 25% width, you can do that. You can also apply it to the height as well. You can obviously use this irrespective of the grid system. That is a great thing about it. But obviously within the grid system, you have the column system as well. Now obviously the, one of the issues with the column system, it has some extra, you know, margins, for example. So if you don't want that, or, you know, you want something within that without having to create an, you know, another set of columns and rows, this is a great way to go. I will provide a link to the official sides in page on the Bootstrap website, which covers everything. I will run you through some basic whip you know properties and you can do it relative to the viewport as well but once you get the concept in here you're good to go okay so first of all i am going to add a style this is just optional simply because i want to be able to see the element that i put within it it's child element so i can actually see its full width because otherwise there's not enough content in there because i'm only going to put a bit of text you won't be able to tell i'm going to put my favorite color red put a div here and before I put any styling or anything like that, I'm going to put style, background, color white. I'm going to put a width of 25%. Currently, it doesn't have a width of 25%, but this is what it looks like. Obviously, you got that little bit of margin, which, you know, you can remove with extra CSS or if it's within some other parent container, you won't get that. So to actually add this, what you do? is put a class of w-25 that's 25 width there we go if i put p-3 this is optional this is just going to increase the height slightly this isn't you know the height in terms of sizing for this the relative height is h- you know 25 50 7500 there's auto as well so it's just automatically know based on the content so because this is div this will automatically make it 100 percent okay so if i was to put let's say 75 it's 75 percent so that's it that's really all there is to know obviously that still stays 25 percent you can update that but that's really all there is to know like i said i will provide a link to this page and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video